Hey fellow YouTubers, Cactus Fan here. Just want to let you know I'm doing a short video on growing cactus from seed. Uh, it's about 10 minutes long, goes over you know the basics of growing cactus from seed. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, any further questions or anything, just ask. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Alright guys, time to get started with growing cactus from seed. Uh, first I'm going to point out a few things you're going to need. One, you're going to need topsoil. Uh, coconut. Right there, coconut core. You don't need it, but it's a good additive. A little bit of perlite. Of course, you're gonna need some small pots. Ziploc bag to sow your seeds in. Marker to go ahead and document the date that you sow the seed. Water to water it. And of course, most important, the seed. Right here is some Echinocactus texinus. I really like this cactus. Not my seed, got it from someone else, but I like it. I've already sowed a bit of it. Okay, so first you want to start off, you just need some topsoil right here. You don't have to be too picky on getting the wetting agent out of it. Um, the seeds actually need a whole lot of humidity and wetness to actually germinate. And then to live, they need water. They got to be wet. So you got four scoops of these small pots of the potting soil in there and then one scoop of perlite don't need too much because like I said it needs to be wet I just put it in there for a little bit of aeration so you can see this is you know nowhere near the amount of perlite I would use in, in a cactus soil you know an adult plant okay just mix it up and same goes with the uh, the cocoa core don't need a whole lot I just put a little bit in there. Nowhere near the amount for an adult cactus. All right, and there, mix it up. Okay, no fertilizer. I do not put any fertilizer. It's more than enough nutrients in the in the potting soil to sustain the life of the uh, seedlings once they germinate. Okay, it's all mixed up. Voila, done. Not yet. Now with growing. Cactus from seed, it's real tedious and uh, it's going to be sealed in a Ziploc bag for a minimum of three months, sealed in the bag. So you're going to have to microwave this to make sure it's sterile, no germs, no bacteria or anything. Uh, I'd, something about this size I'd put in the microwave for two and a half, three minutes um, and be very, very careful because it's going to be hot. Don't pull it out of the microwave and just think it's dirt and stick your hand in there. It will burn you. It will scald you uh, and leave scars. So be careful with that. Okay, so let's just say I microwave this. Get you a little cup. All right, get some in there. Make sure you can see a good amount in there. And what you want to do, this would be piping hot, of course, so be very careful. Get your water. and just set it down in there and let it soak it up. You don't want to put your seeds in there yet because you know that heat might damage them. I'm not saying that it will, it's just a precaution I take. I let it soak up the water from the bottom, cool the soil off, and you take out your seed. All right. Once that has been you know, all soaked up and cooled off, you get your seed and you can meticulously put them down and count them if you want. I just go ahead and spread them out. Uh, in a two inch square pot, I'll put probably 20 to 30 seed. Um, and just sprinkle them around. Really can't see where they're going. I can hardly even see it because they're the same color and they're tiny. There's probably about 20 to 30 seed in there right now. Okay, close that up. You definitely don't want to spill that. Okay, now this is a very important thing to do. Some people are like, oh, I'll remember when I did it. I'll, I'll go ahead and not put the date on there. I don't need to do that. Yeah, <laughs> you better, because I forget every single time. When Once you take them out of the bag, you forget. Okay, so it's 5, 12, 11. E, 
Texan. You also want to write the species down on there so you'll, you won't forget it because I'd say 80% of seedlings, once they germinate, they all look the same. Okay, so you want to remember which one's which, yada, yada, yada. Open up the Ziploc bag. You don't have to drain too much of the excess water because remember, you want it to be extremely humid and wet. Don't cover up the seedlings either, or the seeds. I forgot to mention that. Don't sprinkle anything over them. Leave them on top. Just don't fill it up with air either. Just whatever air is in there. Zip lock it shut. Okay. And there you go. You have just soured your first seedlings. Okay. Now, here comes the waiting game. Some species of cacti will sprout, germinate, within one to five days. Some species will take two months to germinate. But mostly it's it's one to two weeks you'll start seeing results. Okay. Once they pop up, you're gonna be like, all oh, right, it's time to take them out of the bag. Wrong. Leave them in the bag, in the Ziploc bag, for a minimum of three months after germination. Okay. And then once it's time to start letting them out of the bag. Don't just open the bag up. It's going to be a shock to the seedlings. And you, with, you could have total death of all of them, or at least lose 80% of your seedlings. Now they're just seedlings. You can always start over. But you know when you're going to reintroduce them to the atmosphere, open up a little bit. Leave that little bit open for a day. The next day, open a little more. You know, and just so on. In about a week's time, bam, have them, have the bag open, and in another couple of days, you could take it right out. Okay. Now, lighting conditions. I know some people are probably like, okay, well, what do you grow them on? Do you grow them in sunlight? Sunlight is going to be too strong for any seedling. Okay. Your seedlings are going to turn red. They're going to shrivel up, and they're going to die. I grow mine under uh, fluorescent light, shop light. Just regular fluorescent light, no green tube, no plant tube or whatever. And uh, I grow them inside of a reptile tank lined in foil. Nice and bright. You can always tell if it's bright or too much light because they'll start turning red. Not enough, you know, light because they'll start growing long, elongated. Okay. Um, so that's the lighting. Uh, you can put them in a shady windowsill, but that might get too hot. Um, I do grow some in my greenhouse, actually, you know, from sowing to the end, because some species love the heat. That's another thing. You want to keep it warm, at least 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees. I mean, some species, like the Lophophora, they like to be hot. So that's the ones that I do in the greenhouse. You know, that's going to be 98 degrees for them to grow right. Um, just keep it warm. Uh, there's plenty of ways, you know, you can keep... If you decide to do something like I am in, in a uh, reptile tank, there's plenty of ways you can keep it uh, warm with a heating lamp or a heating mat, you know, that goes underneath it. Um, and that's about it on heating. Got lighting covered. Um, like I said, do not expect instant results growing cactus from seed. These guys take forever to grow. Um, I have seedlings that are two to three years old and are just now starting to look like young adult plants. So don't expect instant results. It's not like planting a flower seed or a, a tomato plant seed or you know a cucumber plant seed or whatever. It's not going to be fast. It's going to be slow. And uh, the best advice I ever got from an experienced cactus grower about growing from seed is if you pay attention to them, you'll kill them. I'm not saying, you know, disregard your cactus, don't, you know, your seedlings, don't look at them. Always check, you know, you know, once in a while to see if they're turning red or whatever. Uh, again, the bacteria, if, you know, you didn't microwave your soil good enough, you know, so there could be some bacteria and it'll start growing and it could and possibly will kill your seedlings you know eat them off and another thing you, you probably guys are like man that's a big old bag for one little thing 
Yeah, it is, but I'd rather have one pot of seedlings succumb to fungus than three of them. So that's why I do that. All right. Uh, let me see if I've missed anything. No? Remember, they like to be wet. Don't mix a cactus soil mix, a seedling mix, even a pre made seedling mix like from Miracle Grow that they sell at Lowe's and Home Depot. That could, you know, work just fine. Uh, don't have to worry about getting out the wetting agent from the top topsoil. And that's about it. Do not waste your pumice or pumice, whatever anyone wants, how they want to say it. Do not waste it in the seedling mix. Please. If you're going to put it in your seedling mix, go ahead and put it in a box and send it to me. Because <laughs> there's no need for it in the seedling mix. All right, guys. And actually, let me go ahead and bring uh, a couple seedlings in to show you the results of them and what to expect. All right, guys. Just got back from the greenhouse. Found some seedlings. Uh, let's see if I can get them close. You can hardly see them. They're tiny little guys. All right, it's the same species that I just sowed, and these are, I want to say, four to five months old. What I did is I did not mark the date, duh, and I don't remember, but these are about four to five months old. Out of the bag, they're handling right about 60% full sunlight, and they're starting to be watered like a normal cactus. I'm letting them dry out. And that's another thing I did not mention. Once you take them out, don't let them completely dry out because they will die. They still like to be wet, 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 wet. Okay? So I hope this helped any of y'all. Uh, any questions, comments, feel free to ask.